I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. When I came to Alameda, I was amazed when I found myself in a neighborhood where people like Jack London, Robert Louis Stevenson, and Phyllis Stiller had lived and where people knew all about them. I always thought that um, somehow the city would glorify this area, this site, as being uh, having a great literary history. This history impressed me greatly that this was sort of a wellspring of, of genius. I arrived here right after the birth of my fourth child and before my fifth child, Alice, was born. My husband was at sea and all the neighbors rallied around. But meanwhile, just the practicalities of living in a housing project among other women who were here from other countries who many who didn't even speak that language uh, all of this was pretty overwhelming I sort of started feeling like I was a social worker <laughs> an, an unpaid social worker <laughs> at the time my son who was seven began running around the neighborhood in the park and playing but the neighbor said no, no, don't let your children go to the park because the park is undeveloped. It's not graded. That's uh, grown over in weeds. There's no real park director. And I said, how could this be? How could, how could we not get organized and do something about this park? Because that was when I began to feel that there was uh, a power in this area of creativity and that this was there for us all to draw on. So I felt that I felt this power, this sense of power, something that I had never really had before any place wherever else I had lived. I had had no reason to feel that I was a person of, of power. So I joined the Woodstock PTA and Fixing Up the Park became our project and we got organized, we contacted through PTA, all of the other PTAs in the city. We received letters of support from not only PTA, but Girl Scouts, 24 different organizations in the city. The main strength, I think, came from the Junior Chamber of Commerce. Real, real leadership there. So this was something I had never done, to go to a city council meeting and to speak or to speak before a crowd, I actually um, would, would shake and break out in a cold sweat and be dripping wet when I got through making a, the simplest little presentation. But I learned, and I learned from the people around me, we supported each other, we became a real, real wonderful community. Now the way we did it was to begin with um, something to draw the community together. We had a carnival. So, and, and in conjunction with the carnival, we had a parade. So we wrote to the military, we wrote to other people, we wrote to the scouts, we could be part of this parade and this carnival. The Navy lent us uh, two different marching bands. They lent us a beautiful float. They lent us stages. Because these were their dependents. These were the children of people who had devoted their life to the military, had left their families here while they were at sea, and so the commander wrote letters of support. He actually showed up. All of the people uh, that we contacted showed up. The mayor, the people from city council. Everybody said yes. Nobody said no. We raised $900, well, 51 years ago. That was a lot of money, <laughs> and uh, to think that it came out of the, maybe the most economically disadvantaged neighborhood, 
and people. This turned out to be one of the largest community movements where the people took something into their own hands and made out of it what their dream was. Not only were we successful in getting the park developed, but we got a recreation building, full-time director, and a lot of activities. Over 200 children signed up to register in the first classes, so we had a waiting list for a long time. The grown-ups wanted something too. Um, express themselves artistically, so we formed mothers groups and we formed classes for the grown-ups. So this was the first community-led park development of this scale ever attempted in the city by people who had not previously been empowered in any way and who wanted to leave something that they were not going to be around to enjoy the rest of their life. They wanted to leave it for the city. There are still possibilities and I think the leadership of the city and the people in the community are aware of what they can accomplish by working together.